Hey Shelly, Courtney, good to see you guys. It's kind of sunny um, and kind of bright. I am talking today about where I write. I am in the park and um, it's a gorgeous day. I'll turn it around in just a little bit so you guys can see it. Maybe I'll turn it around now. So there's fountains and gorgeous green grass and people having a beautiful day here in the park. Uh, my publisher me along with some of the other writers to talk about where we write and I'm a pretty mobile writer excuse me while I walk I might be a little bumpy for a few seconds um, but I'm pretty mobile um, my son's very active and a little bit water obsessed a lot of kids who have autism are and um, so we're at the fountains which you just saw a few minutes ago pretty much every day as soon as it gets warm we're at the fountains all the time I'm gonna turn like oh let me turn like this here we go I'll sit over here um, I'm working out the sunshine situation so that you guys don't there we go I think that's better um, so that you can actually see me uh, but pretty much during the summer we're we're somewhere at water all the time and so a lot of times I'm really mobile I take my laptop with me everywhere I go and um, like today we're at the park we're at the fountains my husband is kind of keeping an eye on my son and I've kind of found a little nook let me see if I can show it here Here's my laptop and my little cafe table. It's very cute, right? Very chic. The table's filthy. I hope you guys aren't close enough to see that. <laughs> but um, so that's where I am today. Um, but just telling you a little bit in case you don't know who I am. Um, uh, like I said, I'm Kennedy. And um, I've written a series called um, The Bennetts. There's three parts so far. Book one was When You Were Mine. Book two, Loving You Always. And book three, Be Mine Forever. And I just signed a contract to do a fourth book in the series, um, as yet untitled. Um, we refer to it as Bennett number four right now until we find a title that we think fits. If you're familiar with the series, which I think maybe a few of you are who are on right now, um, a character who is a little bit of a villain from the first couple of books, Sophie, it's actually her story. And I'm really excited to tell it. Um, I find it a challenge to redeem characters. I'm not really one of these people who likes it just kind of black and white. I like those shades of gray in people. I'm not really someone who writes perfect characters, but I like to figure out flaws and somehow manage to make the reader root for those people that you thought were unrootable for. <laughs> not the best way to say it. Seems like I should be um, better with my words, but off the cuff, I'm kind of not. Um, anyway, so that is my, the, this book in a nutshell is I am taking Sophie, who seemed like a little bit of a villain, and kind of digging into her psyche, telling us a little bit why she's that way. Um, but my goal is not to change her. You know, my goal with Sophie is not for people to say, oh, now I get it. Now she's really, really sweet. That's not my goal with this character. My goal is for you to understand kind of those shades of gray and that she deserves a happily, happy ever after like other people do. And um, I really am all about growth. Like I want to see a character grow. And I'm not as much about making Sophie super sweet as about making sure that she grows as a character. And so that's, as I approach her story, that is um, my objective. And as I plot, this is with all the books I write, as I plot, I'm thinking, what are the circumstances that are going to apply enough pressure to force this character to mature? Um, what are the circumstances, who are the people they can rub up against that will challenge them and that will stretch them. And so that is what I'm doing for Sophie. Um, her name is Sophie Baston, and she is a model. Uh, and I know she already sounds kind of flat, like, okay, she's a model. But she's really one of these mean girls who has always had every advantage and not always known what to do with it. And um, so let's just see what happens. I'm gonna read you just a little bit of her story today, just a little snippet, because I'm not really that far in book four, but I'll read just a little bit of it for you. Um, uh, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, she is the daughter of a businessman who sometimes uses her charms <laughs> to charm his clients. And the hero, uh, Trevor Bishop, is uh, a client and 
This is kind of their first meeting. This is just Sophie's first impression of him. He's a ginger. I've never read, um, I've never written a redhead, so I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, and all of you who like redheads, I think that you're gonna like Trevor a lot. So I'm just gonna read just a little bit of it. Should I let you see? Yes, I should let you see. Let me see. Okay, and there might be one F-bomb. <laughs> in here i will maybe edit that a little bit in case someone's watching who wouldn't appreciate it um okay i'm just gonna walk i'm just gonna read just a little bit i'll show you. let's do it no that's not the best way okay maybe i'll let you look at the park while i read because i don't want you just staring at a screen okay there you go look look at what you get to see okay i'm going to read a little bit wash steps back and i have my first close-up of the fish i'm baiting tonight only I'm the one hooked immediately. I'm careful not to show it, but that stunned look I'm used to seeing on other people's faces all over my inside face. This force of flesh and bone and muscle wrapped in heat looms over me. Trevor Parrish's presence burns holes in my composure. I could tell from across the room he was attractive and built like a mountain lion, lean and strong and broad. It's only now with proximity that his absolute confidence meets mine head on. He tilts his head to the left, his chocolate-colored eyes steadily considering me, and I swear he knows. Even though I'm sure my face doesn't give it away, I swear he knows that as I stand in front of him, inhaling his scent and waiting for his first smile, windmills turn in my belly. That's that. Um, that's everything for today. Um, thank you guys for periscoping with me. This is where I write, and um, thanks for tuning in. Have a great one.